Hello wonderful human, this video is for you if you are ashamed of your body and you would like to do something about it. I've decided to make this video because in my work as an EFT practitioner I see this in my clients all the time. People really struggle to accept their body, they hate their bodies and a lot of the time they are ashamed of the way their body looks or functions. It being a whole body or sometimes it's more individual parts. Whichever is your issue, we will be able to address this in this video. We are going to be using EFT tapping in the process. So if you don't know what that is, please check out that video first. So you know what we're talking about and then come back here. And let's clear the shame because we know that emotion of shame has a very low vibration and it's not helping you in any way, shape or form to feel better, to do better, to look after your body, to change your body or to make it healthier or better looking. So I think it's time to clear it. Let's just take a deep breath in together and out. And I'd like to invite you to tune in into this feeling of being ashamed of your body. And just rate it on a scale from zero to 10. 10, you are extremely ashamed. Zero, you don't care. First number that comes, remember that number and let's jump on a karate chop point. Remember, the more specific your tapping is, the more effective. Don't be afraid to change my sentences to make them more suitable for you. Use specific names, add, clarify, repeat something that really appealed to you, etc. These videos are just an example. The more specific rounds you create, the better are your results. Remember that your gold lies in a specific tapping. Taking responsibility for our own lives. Even though I feel this deep shame about my body, about the way it looks, the way it feels and the way it functions. I choose to accept everything that I'm feeling right now. Even though I feel really ashamed of my body. I don't like looking at it. I don't like showing it. I really don't like when anyone else is looking at it. I am so embarrassed of my body of the way it looks and feels. And even though I'm so ashamed, I choose to accept everything that I'm feeling right now. Even though I have this deep, deep shame connected with my body. I can't stand it. I am so ashamed. I am so embarrassed. I don't want anyone to look at me. I cannot stand to look at me. Maybe there are some parts of it that I like, or at least tolerate. But overall, I always focus on the things that I hate and that make me feel ashamed. And even though I feel all of this, I choose to deeply and completely love honor and accept my body and all of my feelings. And I'm opening myself up to the possibility of releasing that shame and embracing my body the way it is. And from the space of love, do the necessary changes. And so it is. And let's move to the eyebrow point. All this deep shame about my body. I am so ashamed of my body. I hate my body. My body is so embarrassing. I don't like looking at my body. I don't like exposing my body in any way. And I don't like when people are looking at my body. It makes me feel so uncomfortable because I am so ashamed. 
And in the next round, I will give you space to tell me exactly what it is that is bothering you. What, which parts exactly are you ashamed of and why? So let's move to the eyebrow point. And just imagine that I'm your friend and you're letting it all out. You're telling me what your struggles are. Tell me what you're embarrassed of. Is it your whole body? Is it a particular body part or parts? Let's move to the side of the eye and continue telling me. Tell me about your shame. And let's go under the eye. Tell me how you feel when you look at yourself in the mirror. Under the nose. Tell me, are there any other emotions connected to this shame when you see yourself? Chin. Are there any feelings in your body when you're thinking about the shame? Tell me about that too, if you're feeling tightness in your chest or weight in your stomach, or what pressure in your head. And when others are looking at you, what do you feel? What is connected to that shame? And let's move under the arm. One last point. Tell me. And we're moving back to the top of the head. Take a deep breath in. All the shame that I feel. It is so heavy. It makes me feel so sad that this has been true for me for such a long time. That I cannot look at myself and that I cannot bear others looking at me. I must hide my body. No one can see my body because it's so horrible. All this deep and painful shame that I feel. I know that this shame doesn't serve me. I know that this shame doesn't help me. This shame only brings me down. And it makes it harder to introduce any changes that could help me to change my body. So I'm choosing to start letting it go. Even if it's just in 1% today, I'm choosing to let go of that shame. What's the point of keeping it anyway it only makes me feel bad. Why do I want to feel bad? I'm not doing that because I'm bad or stupid. It is serving some sort of function for me. This shame has some purpose. It's probably stopping me from doing something. So I'm open to realizing what that is. And I'm also choosing to forgive myself that I was feeling ashamed of my body for so long. There is this little scared and mean girl inside of me who's been saying horrible stuff to me. Like, you're fat, you're ugly, you're disgusting. Insert your own language. Let's go to the collarbone and tell me, what, what is it that you tell yourself in regards of your body? This mean, hurt little girl inside of me. 
She's been running my life. I choose to acknowledge all this pain she's been through. And I choose to give her love and understanding. And I forgive this mean girl for being so mean to me. And I forgive myself for believing her. And I'm letting go of this shame. I'm releasing this shame from every cell in my body. I'm releasing this shame from every situation in my past. Where I felt ashamed of my body. I'm letting it go now. I know it no longer serves me. And I make a I'm making a conscious decision to let it go. I'm inviting more freedom into my life. More acceptance. And more patience. And more love towards myself. It is safe to accept my body. If I accept my body, it doesn't mean I'll stop uh, caring about it or do it, doing anything about it. No, actually it can be very helpful. Because if I love and accept my body, it's much more likely that I will want to take care of it. And maybe change my, uh, change my diet or introduce um, some new movement into my life. Go see a doctor or take any other steps that are necessary in order to heal my body or its parts. It's not very likely that I will do it from shame and hatred. But it's much more likely that I will do it from the space of love. Because when I love my body, I want to look after it. So I choose to love my body. Or at least I choose to accept my body. Saying I love my body might be really hard for you right now. Don't force yourself. Say I accept my body. And I choose to focus on all the things that my body does well for me. For my heart that's pumping blood. For my lungs that push the oxygen. For my legs that can walk. My hands that can grab. My amazing body gives me so many abilities and so much independence. I choose to see all those things. And I choose to appreciate my body for all the work it does. And the more I appreciate my body, the easier it becomes to see things to appreciate about it. And the more I am grateful for my body, the more reasons I find to be grateful for. It really is that simple. But first I need to release those negative feelings and clear those negative beliefs. And that part might not be so simple. But I now know that it's possible. I allow myself to imagine how good it would feel to accept my body. How beautiful it would be to feel good in my body. How much more freedom I would experience. How much more joy and fun I would have in life. 
I am starting to believe that this is possible. I am feeling a bit more calm. And I'm feeling a bit more trusting. I can feel this self-compassion building within me. And I can feel a little bit more patience towards myself. I am choosing to accept my body. I am choosing to feel good in my body. It might take me some time, but I am on the path. I am taking responsibility for my relationship with my own body. I choose to treat it with love and respect. I choose to care for my body as best as I can. It feels good to look after my body. It feels safe to look after my body. And it is safe to release this shame. It served its purpose and now I'm letting it go. I am accepting my body more and more. I feel calm and centered. And I know that it's safe to feel good in my body. Stop tapping, close your eyes, take a deep breath in. And out. And tune into this body shame again. And notice on a scale of from zero to 10, where is that shame now? Open your eyes. I hope um, that number shifted, um, preferably down. But in case if it came up, don't worry about that too, because it's very possible we've triggered some memory or um, additional emotions. So it's really good for you to write down whatever came up for you during the session, whether there are additional emotions or particular memories, because they'll be your targets to tap. When anything that comes up when we are focusing on a particular issue in our life, it's never accidental. Like our subconscious mind doesn't make those mistakes. It will bring up whatever it is that you need to look at in regards of this issue if you wanna do full healing. I really wanna applaud you for taking that time and taking charge and changing your relationship with your body and taking all of those steps. Keep going on that path. And if one of the things that you would like to do in order to change your body and feel better in it is exercising and you're struggling with that, check out this video where I will be supporting you in getting motivated to work out. I hope to see you there or in the next video. Peace.